Hi everyone, welcome back to Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I am so excited to share this because every once in a while, exactly what's here comes out into the world and is amazing and even better than what was in my head. And today is one of those days. I know you guys are gonna love it because you requested it. We are going to make a peplum belt. It was one of the hot requested items from my 2020 Spring Summer Runway Inspiration Review, a runway um, review where we can get upcycle inspiration. I'll link those videos here. So last week when we cut, crop that blazer, and as a matter of fact, if you haven't checked out that tutorial, go check it out after this one. It's no so how to professionally hem or get a professional look um, hemming or cropping a blazer without sewing. But we cropped that and when I saw the rest of it that was left over, I knew that that was a perfect thing for this video. So we are going to start off like we did last week, cropping the blazer and we're gonna take it from there. So I'm gonna take it to the table and cut it off all the way around here. And I'm going to cut both the outer layer of fabric and the lining as well. If yours doesn't have lines, you can just take a measuring tape up from the bottom uh, and add pins and then cut along where the pins are. All right, so we are going to be using the bottom of the blazer that we cropped in the last video. We are also going to be using a belt. This is a canvas belt that I found a while ago. It looks like a military style belt, but um, it's nice and heavy. That's why I really like it. And it goes well uh, with one of the colors running through the blazer. And then we are also going to use two zippers that I uh, took off of a leather jacket or faux leather jacket that was falling apart. The first thing we wanna do is to cut off the pocket area. It would be cool if the pockets were lower, but they're not, they're right where I need them not to be. So I'm going to cut that section off. This is called a vent. It's basically a split in the back of a blazer or a coat. And this is where the lining is attached to the split. Basically what I want is the lining, the inside separated from the outside. So this is, because that's the split, this is actually two pieces. So what I want to do is pin, pin that outer layer together. All right, so now I can fully see where I can separate the two. So I'm just gonna cut down just a little bit, not a, like maybe two inches, and then we'll be able to fold over the inside and the outside. So now, when it's got that split, we can turn it inside out and we can just add a stitch. I think I'll leave my opening there and then just sew from this end over to the side and then from this end over to the side and leave this open and then just do a top stitch right in the very back. All right, so now I want to pull everything back through here without sticking myself with those pins. <laughs> All right, so now that it's like this, we can, um, I'm gonna iron first, but I can now sew this down with a top stitch. I could definitely hand sew it, but I'm not, y'all know I'm not about that hand sewing life. <laughs> That's why I said I always uh, appreciate when you guys tell me that you did my projects like all hand sewn, like mad respect for that, cause not the kid. All right, before we go on, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. What are you waiting for? We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers and we gotta get there super, super quick if we wanna keep our partner manager. So you guys definitely go subscribe and definitely share this video on your social media so that everyone knows the amazing things going on here. I appreciate it so much. All right, so I took the zippers, separated the zippers from what was on them from the old jacket. And now what I want to do is you're gonna need your belt because you wanna decide where your zippers are gonna go. And so I'm just gonna put the belt loosely, uh, roughly about where I want it to go. And I think I want it to go about there. So that means that the zipper needs to go about there. And I'm gonna add a pin, add a pin at the top of where the zipper is and at the bottom where the zipper stops. Okay. Then I can pull the belt as well as the zipper away and I'm going to use the seam ripper to take just that section of the seam apart. 
And you're gonna do this for the outer layer as well as the lining. Okay, so once I have opened up both layers, and you can see both layers are open. Let's see if I can show you from the inside. Both layers are open. And next I am going to remove the pan and place the zipper between the two layers. I'll do one side first and then pin that side down. And you're gonna have to work on the inside as well because um, doing it from the outside is not going to guarantee that the inside is going to be looking, you know, how it's supposed to be. But I'm just pinning it from the outside first. Alright, so now that we have that kind of a little bit set on the outside, I'm going to, oh lord. Because really you're supposed to have, ah, shoot. To have, ah, dang it. Alright, so now I'm going to fold my lining and make sure that my line is cooperating. Okay, so what I decided to do is pull this fabric over so that it is covering most of the zipper and then just do the seam a little bit further back on the zipper. So that means these, I did this side already. You can see it's coming in. I don't like the, the pucker that it's making. Um, so I am just going to almost like conceal the zipper so I'm going to take these pins out, take it over to this side, let it conceal, and then put the pins a little bit further back so that this has room to open up. All right. So now we can take this over to the sewing machine and sew the zipper in. All right, I'm going to actually change up the pinning situation because I want to sew on the outside. I really like to sew on the outside to make sure the outside looks good um and half the time I could care less about the inside but what I want to do is I want to move this lining out of the way so that I can just pin the outside layer to the zipper and my hand on the inside is moving the lining out the way move lining I stick myself one more time in this video all right so I have that set so that's how it's gonna look on the outside but on the inside, what I want to do is I'm actually going to pin from the outside towards the center. And this is going to allow me to sew over my pins because I'm going to sew from the outside. So this allows me to sew over my pins and keep the inside in place as I'm sewing. All right. I have my zipper foot on and I'm going to go maybe a quarter inch from the edge and sew it all along. And that way I can, as I'm sewing, I can pull these pins out and keep the inside pins in. All right, so we're gonna come to the top, put the needle down, turn it, and then we're gonna push that together as much as possible. And then we're gonna go sew and then do a back stitch. And you do that a couple of times. Lift and turn again and do the other side. And then at the end, I'm gonna do the same thing once again across the end, sew and then back stitch a couple of times. So this is how the inside turned out. It, like I said, it would have been better if I had done a chocolate brown serger thread so that it would blend in more. And like I said, especially when you're not doing, when you're taking shortcuts, you want to give yourself as much advantage as possible by using matching thread, but still turned out pretty good. And, and if you get stuck on this project and need help, definitely join my Facebook group. It's free. The link is down in the description box. It's just a bunch of upcyclers showing their projects and helping each other. So definitely go check that out. Okay, so now I want to, I have my zippers in and I want to start doing my pleating. So I am just going to do a rough pleating type thing and add pins and then I will try it on. It's great to have your waist measurement and then you'll know how much pleating you need to do. My waist is about 34 inches. Right now this thing is 42. Let me check my waist measurement. Y'all know it changed so frequently. Oh snap, it's 31 y'all. Um, oh yeah. It used to be 30. I lifted myself up and just crashed myself down so fast. 
anyway. <laughs> all right, let's forget all the measuring. The bottom line is that you wanna add some pleats and pin them down. Then pin down the belt and try it on. And just keep doing that back and forth until you're satisfied with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you here um, by the sewing machine because I haven't sewed it down yet. But I want to show you, this is how I want it to fit. I want this opening here in the front um, with the paper bag waist at the top. The through and through pockets will make more sense once I style it. But the important thing is that I want the pockets at pocket place. Before they were way up here when I had the pleats all a bunch in the front and so now i have one pleat towards the back one pleat towards the front and then the back of it is pretty fitted along my back and then the split kind of makes it look like you know you have more pleats back there too this is gonna be amazing for all the girls with no hips <laughs> but the other thing you want to do is make sure that you're putting your belt on the right side so like i like my belt hanging on this side so i need to pin it to the opposite side. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then we're gonna sew. All right, so I'm going to show you guys something. I haven't done the full, full review for this machine. This is the Singer Heavy Duty 4452, but I'm gonna show you something that my old machine would not have been able to do. Right now, I am over a pleated layer, so like regular fabric, lining, a bunch of layers, plus over this thick belt and probably like the thickest part of the belt. This has an extra lever that can raise your foot to like the maximum height. And my other one, you could do that, but the maximum height was lower. So using that, I am able to fairly easily get this to the thickest part of this belt and be, you know, so that I can begin to sew. So, you know, if you're in the market for a sewing machine, I haven't, the other one has that as well. So I haven't tried it on that one and I will for the video, but um, as far as this project is concerned, you know, if you can't do that, then um, I would choose a thinner belt for this project. You know, it'll just be easier. We won't pull out as much hair <laughs> during the process. And I just wanna be careful to make sure that the belt is about the same distance from the top on all along the edge. And I do have a heavy duty needle, just so you guys know, I have a, jean needle in this machine and um i pretty much keep a jean needle in this machine so far just because i do so much stuff like that. and i'm sewing right at the edge of the belt um and it's so hidden the color matches actually my thread color matches pretty well um and it's like right at the edge so it's so hidden you can't even see the same all right now we'll do the last stitch and i'm gonna go backwards I'm a gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go backwards just to make sure that it doesn't start pulling up over time. Can't see the same at all. So this is what it looks like from the inside. All right, so let's look at the final result. I'm actually gonna style this with the same pants and the same heels from the last video where I wore the crop blazer. But I am going to change the top to my vintage future top and you'll understand why I chose this top in a second. I'm going to add the belt on top and yes, this looks amazing, freaking amazing. I'm so excited about it. It looks just like I wanted it to look and like guys, sometimes, I, like you guys like what I do, but sometimes I am disappointed because it doesn't look exactly how I want it to look. But this like is spot on the way I wanted it to look, the way I envisioned it. So I'm so excited. And now you get to see why we have those fake zipper pockets. If you just put your hands in your pocket underneath, it kind of does a little funny thing with the peplum. But if you unzip the zippers and put your hands through there and then into your pockets, ah, like be out and do that in front of people and they're gonna be like, yes! <laughs> That's how they gonna be for real, for real. But I'm so silly. But yes, like I live for stuff like that. Not for other people, but it's just like, like even if I see another girl do, I be like, yeah. <laughs> 
but just stuff like that. Uh, the small details, the small details just make a world of difference. So yeah, um, and then if you put on top of that, the blazer on top of that, and then, so then it looks like you have a whole peplum blazer going on, just like we saw on the runway. And remember I said, um, I forget what show it was. I said, I wanted to figure it out. I said, I didn't know whether that blazer was one piece or two pieces, but we need to figure it out. Well, we figured it out. I don't know what they did, but I know what we're doing. Um, so yes, this is my solution for that. Let me know in the comment section whether you like it and just the variations that you can think of on this project because they, I can think there's just so many va amazing variations to come up with to do this in so many different ways. It just like blows my mind. Like, ugh. I need I need like some sewing help so I can get all the variations out and then put them online. That's actually literally what I need. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. The other earring decided to fall off. I told you they don't they will they don't want to stay with me. But I just got too excited in this video <laughs> because I'm just so in love with these pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out some other amazing videos right here. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.